Rody, the road trip app where you can deliver stuff on your way to New Jersey from Texas, if you want, has raised an additional $37 million and plans to expand. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur, and I've talked about Rody a couple times on this channel. Rody is the app that I wish were better in every sense of the word. I love the idea of Rody. Hey, you can do a road trip, you can deliver packages along the way. I love that concept. The problem with Rody, and I've mentioned it before, is that there really is no certain price point for Rody. And what I mean by that is like basically the whole concept of Rody is like, hey, if you're heading on the way to some place, would you mind dropping this off? And I think that sounds good in theory. Where it doesn't work in concept is that you have a bunch of listeners to people going like, hey, I have this entire kitchen set that needs to go from Nevada to Florida. Does anyone just happen to be having like a moving truck and will be happen to be going cross country that they can deliver this for $50? It's, uh, it's been a problem ever since the app came around. I mean, I actually at one point considered doing a series and I might still do this. I might still rent like a moving van or something and see if this is possible where I see people like saying, hey, we'll give you $20 if you'll take this um, purse from Michigan to Connecticut if you happen to be going on the way. And it's like, really? So, Rody, I think they're going to have to eventually implement like a, like at least a per mile fare thing plus mandatory tip in some situations but here's the thing no one's really doing this no one else is roadie is the only one so therefore it has a bit of a cult following among the rideshare and you know app entrepreneurs the app entrepreneur community if you will because you can make a little extra money going where you're going and you know i know some people who actually they get big trucks and they do move chairs and stuff and they find a way to make it work where they are making pretty good money and apparently the concept is getting better because they've just raised $37 million to expand the peer-to-peer -peer package delivery service. So let's look at this. Um, over 57 million people in the US have a side hustle according to a recent Gallup poll and a good chunk of those gig economy workers spend their off hours ferrying boxes to doorsteps through TaskRabbit, Postmates, or Amazon Fleck. Sorry, Flex. I can't believe I messed that up. Uh, McKinsey estimates their total annual deliveries news will double within 10 years. By far, one of the largest independent contractors is Atlanta, Georgia-based Rody, which launched in 2015 with the simple premise of recruiting a fraction of the estimated 250 million vehicles on the road to transport goods en route to their destinations. In the roughly five years since its launch, Rody has teamed up with brands like Delta, Walmart, the Home Depot, Depot, Kroger, Macy's, and United to fulfill deliveries to over 224 metropolitan statistical areas around the country. To that end, the company, the company's more than 120,000 drivers have completed deliveries in just over 11,000 cities and towns, a larger footprint than Amazon Prime's now two-hour delivery service, it says. To fuel expansion well into the next year, Rody today announced at the Retail Industry Leaders Association Link 2019 conference that it has secured $37 million in Series C funding, bringing its total capital around raised to $62 million, which, you know, that doesn't sound like a lot, but, you know, again, here's the thing about the gig economy, though. They're, most of their expenses have been in the app, so $62 is actually not bad to have. The Home Depot led the oversubscribed round with Warren Stevens and former Alphabet chair Eric Schmidt's Tomorrow Ventures and others participating. Quote, in today's hyper-competitive retail environment, it's not enough to only offer same-day deliveries to folks in NFL City, said Mark Gorlin, Rody's founder and CEO and co-founder of automated lending company Kabaj. Our model is a game-changer for retailers, wholesalers, and consum customers consumers who want same day delivery of any item of any size to any zip code at any time an investment like this further validates our crowdsource model which retailers are fast realizing is a highly flexible scalable and cost efficient option to reach all of their customers wherever they might live here's how it works 
Shipper is supposed to gig through Rody's app for iOS and Android, taking care to include details like the size of the item and its final destination. After specifying the delivery type, rush same day or scheduled, they get a flat rate quote up front and Rody uses pre predict sorry, predictive analytics to find a driver with the right size vehicle who's headed in that direction. That last part, if that's true, I haven't seen it because I'm always getting like, I have a Corolla, I have a Toyota Corolla and I'm getting so many of these like, oh, do you want to take this kitchen set? Do you want to take this heater? Things that, you know, these extra large items that it's like, I, there's no way that I even remotely qualify for that. But, you know, um, for example, a delivery from Atlanta to Brooklyn, New York, might cost between $228 and $509, while one from New Haven, Connecticut to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, comes in between $123 to $291. Large item pricing is available based on mileage, and Rody says that deliveries under 200 miles are usually completed the same day or the next day. Now, this is all new to me. Maybe I should turn the app on again and see if some of this, because these are much better prices than what I was dealing with. I was looking at like $20 to deliver some of this stuff. And it's like, no, I'm not going to do that. No matter the origin, the origination point packages up to $500 or up to $10,000 with protection from UPS capital are insured and drivers keep a roughly 80% cut from eight to $60 for local deliveries and up to 650 for long haul gigs. Roadie drivers are pre-screened and verified. They're required to pass third-party background and DMV checks, and they have to maintain a minimum four-star rating to continue driving. Once the package or crate is picked up and on its way, customers can track its progress in real time on a map. Customers also receive confirmation photos and text updates from their driver at each point in the delivery process. I really do now want to just open the app, and I'm, I'm using the phone to record this, so, you know, can't do that just yet. But I'm definitely going to be looking at it, and maybe I'll do like a little review for Rody 2.0 if it has changed that much. The Home Depot is committed to building the fastest, most efficient supply chain in home improvement, and our customers have made it clear that same-day or next-day deliveries to their homes and job sites are a critical part of that. We're investing to bring this level of service to 90% of the U.S. population, and Rody is a key partner for us in making this a reality. And yeah, Rody was always going to be a lot nicer for like stores like Home Depot and stuff. Not the average person. The average person rarely needs Rody. Uh, I just hope that Rody doesn't become this like cheap thing people use to try to move their to move their stuff across state. I mean, that's kind of what they're using it as, but I hope it does become more so. Um, Rody's focus has been shifting to the enterprise in recent months as it has expanded partnership with Delta and the Home Depot and introduced tools like an API that integrates with existing checkout and order fulfillment systems. In this vertical, it's competing with Seattle-based Convoy, which raised $62 million in 2017 from backers that include Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates, Transfix, which operates in New York, and Uber Freight. But Rody claims it offers substantial cost and time savings compared with other carrier services. SNS Fire Pits, a Rody shipper that sells garden fireplaces, saved close to 30%, while Delta has seen delivery windows shrink by 65%. Rody's other investors include the UPS Strategic Enterprise Fund, Gungenheim Partners Executive Chair Alan Schwartz, Square co founder Jim McKelvey, the Mellon Group, former CEO of ISS Tom Noonan, H. Barton Asset Manager, and rap artist Ludacris Chris. Bridges. So actually, from this article, from my reading, it sounds like Rody might actually have improved quite a bit. That actually sounds like a service I would like to use. And yeah, I would do things like rent a U-Haul or something to do some of this stuff cross-country. I'd get some YouTube videos out of it for my vlog channel, which nobody subscribes to. But hey, one of these days. And but I'm going to have to check the, out the app again, because again, like a lot of this sounds foreign to me. Like I, I, I just remember seeing like a bunch of listings for people wanting to move their couch five states over and wanting to pay 50 bucks for it. Like, you know, yeah, so someone's going to just happen to be going five states over and have like a big enough truck to carry this couch. Uh, I did, however, one time um, take someone's dog to Colorado for a wedding and they paid for my hotel and everything. I mean, did I necessarily make a lot of money? No, I probably broke even. But hey, that was a fun journey. So, you know, Rody has had some nice... I've had some nice experiences with Rody. But in the meantime, this sounds promising. Maybe they'll get... It sounds like they're getting better. I would definitely much rather use Rody than Uber Freight. Um, but of course, what says you folks? Do you 
like this? Do you use Rody? Has it gotten better? I would love to know. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, of course, but even as little as $1 a month goes a long way to helping the channel run smoothly and you get access to my Patreon's exclusive blog. And as always, blame responsibly. Have a good one.